Hey, what's happening everyone? Ken here and today we are going to go over Stephen Beastie's incredible cross-section. Says you're two fold-out pictures nearly three feet long. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fit that on this camera. Um, I've also covered a couple more of Stephen Beastie's books in the previous videos. So make sure to check those out if you have not. Uh, show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and going to my website, www.rabbleboy.com. And I'm also an author and illustrator, and I have a few uh, graphic novels and children's books that are out. So make sure to get yourself a copy. So this one, Incredible Cross-Sections, it has a bunch of different cross-sections. This one's older because the uh, other books that by Stephen B.C. is published by D.K., um, and this one is by Alfred Knopf. So this is a bit, a little bit older book. Uh, let's see here. Still twenty dollars though, so the price has not changed that much. So as you can see, this is a, a, a little bit used, but still very good condition. So it is actually DK right here. Uh, so this one, it has a bunch of different cross sections, not just focus on a particular uh, topic. This one covers castles, observatories, ships, tanks, uh, cathedral, subways. So it has a lot of uh, a lot of different things in it. So if you want to get something that kind of covers a large range of uh, different types of um, you know um, buildings or transportation devices or things like that, then this is a book to get. Okay, so Castle is the first one. And this is a, a different castle than what, um, more like a modern castle than the uh, other one from the Castle book, the previous video. Check that out. So we've got the observatory. And again, what I like about these is that it's a cross-section, so you can see the different areas, different levels of, particular, of a particular structure or a vehicle or whatever kind of, you know, cross-section we're focusing on. And it shows you a lot of details. He really does an amazing job illustrating these. And you can always look at people and vehicles to kind of get an idea of the scale. Sometimes it's hard to, to get an idea of how big something really is, but when you look at how tiny each person is illustrated, or the vehicles, then you know that this is a really, a really massive um, structure. Okay, we've got an ocean liner, and this is the one that folds out. So as you can see, uh, they illustrated the side view, the top view, and it actually shows you to scale, uh, to give you an idea what the Statue of Liberty is scale-wise compared to ocean liner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a little bit over, then more than half. Statue of Liberty is about the length of one ocean liner. So that's how big that is. And you can see how long it is. It's cool to see the top view as well. You can kind of see the lifeboats, um, all these different things. It's really, really interesting. You can see the front view and the, the, the view from, from behind and what it looks like underneath here. And if you open it, then you get the full cross section. Ooh, that's cool. So again, it shows you all of the different, actually has a nice description here. And it talks about what it's used for. It's the Queen Mary and how they got the name. So this one is super interesting. It shows you the different things, elevators, kennels, carpeting, talks about the bridge, where the captain is the funnels, switchboard, so all the different 
different locations, different uh, points of interest. The bathrooms, food storage, how lighting works, the boiler rooms, the sewage. And again, if you look at uh, how big the people are here, you'll get an idea of the scale. It even has a really interesting key facts here. It tells you the length, 1,020 feet, the length on the water line, the beam, the speed, the engine power, 112,000 horsepower, 200, 212,000 horsepower. Uh, who was on board? How many passengers? 800 cabin class, uh, 800 cabin class passengers, 800 tourist class passengers, 600 third class passengers. And then you've got 200 cooks, 50 chefs, 50 nurses, 200 waiters, 200 stewardesses, 100 seamen and greasers, 200 stewards and leading seamen, 80 engineer officers, 25 officers, and the captain. It's a lot of people. It's a, it's a small city. Okay, now we've got the submarine. Right there. This actually looks like a pretty small submarine. So this is a World War II, 1939 to 1945 uh, submarine. So it's a U-boat type V2C. Has 14 torpedoes and up to 60 mines. And now we've got, turn it this way, and this is a coal mine. So there's a lot of buildings on top above ground. And they've got these tunnels that go all the way down. It looks like there's uh, rails over here. There's like trams and things like that. And there's multiple levels. That's a coal mine. Okay, we got the cross section of a tank. They look pretty and tight in there, don't they? It says here, 500 years ago, the Italian artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci Imagine the terrible fighting machine we now call the tank. It could cross muddy battlefields with ease and was protected from the attack by metal armor. Early tanks used during World War I had only limited success, but by the start of World War II, European armies had large numbers of tanks. They were all equipped with linked steel caterpillar tracks so they could cross any terrain in any weather. Okay, now we've got the oil rig, which kind of looks like the, uh, the mine, coal mine. Again, it's above the ocean, and you can see the water right here, and it goes under into the ground. And they pick up gas and then oil right there, the bottom. Here we've got the cathedral. It's a really big church. Jumbo jet. And I think this is just a, a shrunken version of a jumbo jet. Car factory. A helicopter. Opera house. We've got
got a steam train. This is cool. Same thing as the uh, the ocean liner opens up. So it shows you what a restaurant cart look like. This is the engine. This is what the engine looks like. Let's start on this side, the cross section. It's really cool. Book like this is really something that you need to be holding and just spending a lot of time on looking at every detail and, and observing. It's basically the next best thing to uh, to being on, being there, being on location. And even then, when you're there, you really can't look at every detail like this book, you know. So it's just really well done. I think somebody commented that... Um, on every Stephen B.C. cross-section, there's always uh, an illustration of somebody using the bathroom. <laughs> so this one is a guy in the shower, showering in the train. Right? Here we've got the subway station. Very cool. If you've been in some of... Uh, the bigger subways in different parts of the world, they're super complex. It's really amazing um, how they've structured those. Got the fishing trawler or trawler. So, looks like a big fishing boat, right? So yeah, they've got the nets capturing all the fish. got the Empire State Building. Mm, we got the Space Shuttle. That's pretty cool. That's the last one. Oh, here's a cool bio. Stephen B.C. specializes in historical and architectural cutaway drawings. Since becoming a full-time illustrator in 1985, he has worked on many books for children and adults and contributed several cutaway drawings to the Random House Children's Encyclopedia. He has taken apart a wide variety of things to find out what goes inside and has a large box of leftover parts with which he hopes to build an aircraft carrier. Mr. Beastie lives in England. Richard Platt studied graphic England and has worked as a writer and photographer since the 1980. He was a contributor to the Random House Children's Encyclopedia and the author of Film in the Eyewitness book series. He has written on topics as varied as ornithology and smuggling and describes himself as a connoisseur of facts from the useless and obscure to the fascinating details that have found their way into this book. So well done, gentlemen. So make sure to check out the series. And um, the more books of uh, Stephen Beastie that I get, I will definitely share it with you guys. So again, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and check out all my other book preview uh, videos as well. All right, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.